Hi and welcome to the brand new episode of the Home Assistant running in Docker on Synology. Today we are going to install Configurator. We'll start in a 10 seconds. Ok, let's get cracking. As always, first thing we have to do is we have to log in to our uh, Synology via terminal. Let's type in username and password. Now let's change to our Docker folder. And what we have to do here, we have to make a new folder where Configurator will be keeping its own configuration files. So we'll make this directory and name it configurator. Let's clear screen and let's start typing the long command to download docker image and install it. So once again we'll start with sudo super user do docker run. We'll start with uh, terminal and detach daemon mode, we'll give it a name and we will call it, you guessed it, configurator. We have to define the network and as always we will be using our host network, so a network equals host. Then we have to attach uh, two volumes, internal docker volumes with the volumes you already have on our Synology, so it's first so first one is volume docker home assistant and this has to be attached to the internal config folder so what it does it gives our configurator possibility to look inside the uh, configuration folder of home assistant and without it, of course, it wouldn't work. And Configurator, of course, is just a visual tool to enable you to edit your uh, YAML files inside your Home Assistant. And next folder we have to map uh, is uh, volume one, Docker Configurator. The folder we just created with the has config internal folder inside inside our docker and so our folders are now mapped to the docker container and the last thing we have to do is of course define what image we want to download from docker hub so this one will be c a u s t i c lab and image we'll be using is h a ss dash configurator dash docker column x86 64 uh, unfortunately we do have to define architecture here because uh, the system is unable to guess it by itself and if you try downloading without this extension of the architecture it will just fail Let's check before we start if I typed everything correctly. More or less everything looks okay. And let's now start download the installation process. And installation is now finished. Let's go to Portainer. Let's look at the containers. We have 10 containers and we have configurator running. Uh, don't worry about my Zigbee to MQTT uh, being stopped as I removed a USB stick from it. I also stopped the container. Let's check the configurator logs. Everything looks okay. So what we can do next is of course we can configure our configurator so that it is visible inside our home assistant let's close this 
let's go to our Synology. File Station, Home Assistant, Configuration. And here we will look for our panel iframe, where we defined other uh, components that we want to see visible in the menu. And here we will add definition for configurator. So it's configurator. We will give it a title. Configurator URL. And URL for the configurator is HTTP 192.168.1.109 with the default port of 3218. And last thing we want to configure is icon. And we will once again be using MDI and let's name it Ranch. Let's save this. And now let's go back to our Home Assistant. Configuration, Server Control, Check Configuration. And let's restart our server. Okay, and our server is back online. On the left side, we have now configurator. Let's try if it works. And graphical user interface is up and running. So in order for us to see uh, configuration files, we have to go up and go to configuration folder. And here you will see all the files we have in our configuration folder in Home Assistant. Let's check configuration YAML. And as you can see here, this is the same file we edited a few minutes ago. And there is a typo here, but okay, that's not a problem. So this was it. This is the easy way to edit your configuration files inside Home Assistant if you do not want to use Synology uh, text editor. Thank you once again for watching Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it and find it useful, please press like button. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. If you have some kind of a wish on what component you want me to configure or what docker you want to pair with the Home Assistant, please also leave it down in the comment section and I will be seeing you next time. Bye bye and have fun!